Hello everyone. I have created a new add-on that automatically arranges node tree of geometry nodes, compositor nodes, as well as shader nodes. Let's quickly look at how to use it. To install the add-on, go to the download link given in the video description and then download just the py file. Remember, you don't need the zip file, just the py file. One way to do that is to click on this link, then click the raw button and then right click the mouse and select save page as option. Now we can save the py script. I'll save it in desktop. Then go to Blender and in Edit Preferences, under Add-ons, select Install and choose the file that you just downloaded. You may need to separately enable the add-on and then if you want you can save preferences. Now if you go to Geometry Node Editor or Compositor Editor or Shader Editor, on the sidebar there will be a new Edit tab if it was not already there and under the edit tab you will see a lineup nodes panel. We will see the demo in geometry nodes editor but remember the same functionality is available in shader editor and compositor as well. I have already created a few node trees for this demo. So if I now click lineup nodes button with this set of nodes the nodes will be arranged automatically. Or here is another ex extreme example. This plots a complicated curve based on mathematical equations and I'll again click lineup nodes and all the nodes of the tree are arranged automatically. I'll go back to the first example and maximize the window so that we can see each option individually. The first option vertical alignment tells the add-on how to arrange the nodes vertically. So in case I select top, the top edges of all the columns are aligned. If I select bottom, the bottom edges are aligned. And with middle, the columns are centered on the view. Then the width separation option tells the editor what should be the width between the two columns. So if I set this to let's say 200, there will be more horizontal separation between the columns. Similarly, height separation. If I set higher value here, there will be more separation vertically between the nodes. Then there is this option to include the groups. If the node tree contains any groups like this one, and if you want to arrange the nodes of the tree as well, you can check this option. Currently the nodes here are not arranged, but if I now click lineup nodes with this option selected, the nodes of the node group are also arranged as per the options. Now this max column nodes option is useful when you have large number of nodes within a single column like the example that we saw here. If I set this value to zero, then there is no limit on the number of nodes within a column. But you see there are a very large number of nodes within one each column. Naturally I would like to restrict the number of nodes within a column. So I will set this value to let's say 10 and click line up nodes again. And now you see there will not be more than 10 nodes within each column. Lastly, this drop down arrange by has three options, first, last and max. The default option is last. What this means is actually the horizontal arrangement is based on the last connection to the node. That is to say with the last selected in arrange by, the output sockets will always be on the left side of the input sockets. So there won't be any situation where you have connections like these ones. Last means the node is placed at a place where it has got the last set of connections. As opposed to that, if I select this option as first and click lineup nodes, then the first time a particular node is connected to another one, it is placed there. 
in this case you, you are likely to have situations like these ones where the node with the output socket is on the right hand side to the node with the input sockets lastly the max option basically places the node adjacent to the other node that has got maximum connections to it like in this example the group input has maximum connections with this group node get xy so it is placed right next to it in contrast with this last option where it is placed adjacent to the node that has the last connection to it so that's it about this add-on if you have any queries or suggestions please leave a comment on this video thank you very much